For photogrammetry, my workflow was always to first plan the flight path and the number of photos needed, execute the flight, upload the photos to WebODM, and then let WebODM create the 2D or 3D mapping for me. Already a while ago, I stumbled upon SkyBrowse. They take a video and then turn it into a 3D or 2D model. This piqued my interest and start to explore the website to see how it works and discover there are only three steps you have to do. You record a video using any device, phone, drone, upload it to SkyBrowse and they will generate a 2D or 3D model for you. So this is what I'd like to explore together with you today and see how easy it is and how the results look like. So let's get started. So what's our plan for today? First, we do a flight with a supported drone. This is in my case, the DJI Mavic Air 2. Then we we'll upload the video and check the result. We we'll then take a flight with a not supported drone. This is in my case, the DJI Air 3. And again, upload the video to SkyBrowse and check the result. And finally, conclusion. If you're only interested in a supported drone, feel free to start with chapter one and two. And if you have a not supported drone, I recommend to start with chapter three and see how this works. So this is the plan and uh, let's get out on the field and do our testing. For our first flight, I will take the good old Mavic Air 2. And this is for a reason, because uh, as you may know, the mobile SDK is not available for all drones, but for the good old Mavic Air 2, it's available. That means third party developers can create their own app. And this is exactly what uh, SkyBrowse did. An app specifically for the Mavic Air 2 and others to make it very easy to do your flight for the 3D mapping. So what we're going to do now, over there, there's an abandoned caravan and I'll take this as our point of interest, circle around it and uh, try to get first 3D mapping with SkyBrowse. So let's go for it. So here in the uh, SkyBrowse app, first thing you have to do, you position your drone exactly above the point of interest or the object you want to surround and uh, there's no optical recognition. So we do this now. We are exactly at the point where you want to circle around the abandoned caravan. And we now press start to uh, start the mission. The drone will first go to the inner circle and start to surround the point of interest, the point for mapping. After finishing the inner circle, the drone will go a little bit more backwards now and start to do a second circle and uh, same as before, surrounding the point of interest but the result will be only exactly one video. And now the SkyBrowse app finished the circling around the object for a second time and created the video. Now here I'm already logged into SkyBrowse and if I check the models here, my models, you see there's already a empty model created for me this is because I was logged into the account as well on the app for flying. And so the only thing I have to do here is upload the files. So click on upload the files and uh, this is the SD card, in this case from the Mavic Air 2. And now I try to drag it over here and start the upload. Let's see. 
Now, if I go back to my list of models, I see there is something happening here. We have already the movie uploaded. Let's see. Okay, now we see here is the movie. We see our orbit, we did. And now let's explore what we have over here. 2D view. Okay, this is the sketch drawing, not interesting, but this is the 3D, sorry, the 2D view of the map. And now the interesting part, go to the 3D view. Let's see what we get over here. All right, I think now we have our first model created with SkyBrowse can zoom into it, we can circle around it, that looks good. So it seems it's quite an interesting option to use SkyBrows instead of making individual photos. For the next test I'll take the DJI Air 3. There's a caveat. As there's no mobile SDK for it, at least as of the time of the recording, you have to do it on your own. There's no support from the SkyBrows app and you have to rely on the DJI Fly app. And therefore we'll use the very simple point of interest functionality and circle around the abandoned caravan. And for the testing I will use the 3x lens, hoping that I get a little bit more of details so I get uh, finally a better result for the 3D mapping. So let's get up in the air and see what we can achieve with that one. Now in the GGI Fly app, first thing I have to do according to instructions is to set the resolution to 1080p because we're using here the new virtual upload. And now I change the lens to the 3x lens as discussed before. And according to the instructions, we have to set the gimbal to approximately 45 degrees downwards to get the best results. And this is what I'm doing here. And now I'll fly to my point of interest to set my camera in the middle of the object I would like to circle around. So now I'm uh, above my point of interest, my abandoned caravan. Uh, just point my drone and to mark it and just do a very simple point of interest and uh, set the direction and speed and simply start the recording of the video. And that's it. Now that we've finished our flight with the Air 3, it's time to create a new model. The way we do it here in SkyBrowse is we just simply click on Upload Video. Now we choose the type. In our case, it's the Universal Upload, as it was not controlled by the app. We choose the file we want to upload, already prepared it over here. So this is from the R3. Drag and drop it over here and start the upload. And same as before, we have to wait until the upload has finished. Okay, the next model is created. It took Skybrows about uh, five minutes. Let's have a look at it. View model. What I experienced that uh, sometimes it's a little sluggish, so it takes a while until it gets everything together. Like in this case, we have to wait. Maybe too many people with a freemium account are trying to access it now. So. Yes, what helps in this case is clicking, 
back and forth between the different views. So this is the 2D view. And you can see it's already taking a while to render. Back in 3D view. And now we have it. So let's have a look at it. Okay. I think you can already see there much more details in here. So if you look here at the roof, the line looks much better than the model we got from the Mavic Air 2. So the conclusion is uh, with a 3x lens from the Air 3, uh, you get much more detail. And even without going to the 4K resolution, where you obviously have to pay for, as it's only for a subscription, you get quite very good results already with the Air 3 and only one circle you have to fly. So what's my conclusion? I think this approach is a much better way for people who have newer drones, like the DJI Air 3, because there's no mobile SDK out there so far, and SkyPro is not supporting those drones. That means instead of do it manually, this is what I did in another video, I explained how to do waypoint missions, how to plan the number of photos you need for a mapping, and then calculate them in relation to the speed you're flying. All this is not interesting for you anymore, you don't need it, because you only take a video and you don't care of the number of photos. The second reason why I consider this very interesting for people with newer drones is because of the 3x lens, you get uh, much closer to the subject and as you've seen the results, get much better result. So to wrap up, I think it's a new approach, it's an interesting approach, and uh, the next thing I will do, I will test and compare doing the sky browse mapping with the web ODM and check out which one is better. So stay tuned for the next video coming soon in some weeks where I do the comparison between web ODM and sky browse. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and uh, see you soon.